So The Expanse has shown us a lot of space combat across its six seasons, but one thing we haven't seen a ton of is ground combat, and infantry units for that matter. So I figured today we'll take a look at one of the most capable infantry units within the system, the Martian Marines. I'm Colin, and this is Sci-Fi Deep Dive. Remember, if you enjoyed this video, to head down below and hit that subscribe button. So, a lot of us love basically anything Martian in the Expanse, and one of the quintessential images of Martian military power are their Marines. The Martian Marine Corps has the reputation of being one of the most capable infantry forces within the system, and it's a well-earned reputation. So let's just dive right in with what Marines do within the Expanse in general. Well, within the Expanse, the Marines fill the role they were originally designed to fill in the old days of sail. As opposed to storming beaches and seizing territory on land, these Marines are intended to defend Martian ships against boarding parties. They are basically a small detachment of infantry stationed on board each Martian vessel to stave off any intruders and sort of be able to maintain some sort of force projection from the vessel in an infantry fashion. We see this in action during the battle for the Donager, where the Donager is actually boarded by Protogen forces and Martian Marines are the last line of defense. These standard Martian Marines would be stationed on nearly every MCRN vessel and would know their ships like the backs of their hands. Basically, their entire job is to know their ship and how to defend it if it's attacked. That being said, we do see them fielding equipment very specifically designed for the environment they're fighting in, which is the interior of a spacecraft, possibly a spacecraft that has been seriously damaged. As such, most Martian Marines wear pressurized suits designed to sort of maintain their atmosphere within their suit, so if the hull of the vessel is breached in some way, they can still function effectively. In fact, it's likely that standard Martian Marines train in a vacuum as well as in a pressurized vessel to allow them to have a familiarity with fighting in both environments. That being said, interestingly, within the Martian Marine Corps, there are actually two different branches, and there's a third one that's mentioned in the books that's not mentioned in the TV shows. The first branch is the Standard Infantry. These are the guys we see on board the Donager during the events of Season 1, and they're likely stationed on nearly every Martian vessel. As I stated before, they were likely used entirely for defensive roles, mostly defending their own ship against borders and carrying out very light operations. The second type that we see in the show are the Force Recon Marines. The Force Recon Marines wear much heavier armor, Goliath Power Armor specifically. This allows them to bring a remarkable amount of firepower to any engagement, and these seem to be geared more towards an offensive role. I would assume these Martian Force Recon Marines would be intended more to carry out boarding operations as opposed to repel boarders on their own ships. Goliath Power Armor is remarkably capable in combat, being able to take numerous shots from a wide variety of different calibers of firearms and not even flinch, really. Combine that with the fact that this entire suit, like the suits worn by the standard infantry within the Martian Marine Corps, is entirely pressurized, allowing it to operate in a vacuum, and you have a very effective, well, for lack of a better term, super soldier. Interestingly, it seems like the UN doesn't actually have a counterpart to the Martian Forced Recon Marines. When we see UN Marines within the show, they seem to be wearing something closer to the armor worn by the standard infantry of the Martian Marine Corps. Yes, it is armor, likely capable of absorbing the shock of a nearby explosion, for example, and maybe even some small arms fire, but isn't really bulletproof like the armor we see worn by Force Recon Marines. However, outside of the actions that I've specified, the things that these Marines are designed to do, we do see them carry out some rather unusual operations. We see, for example, standard Martian Marine Corps infantry carrying out customs inspections in Season 1. When a Belter skiff is stopped by the Martian Morrigan-class patrol destroyer, the Scipio Africanus, we see this Belter skiff boarded by a pair of standard infantry from the Martian Marine Corps. This is maybe the only time in the show we actually see standard Martian Marines boarding another vessel. Any other time we see them, they're either on series station during Season 6, carrying out a peacetime sort of peacekeeper position, if you will, or defending their own vessels against boarding operations like we see during the battle on the Donager. 
And I actually mentioned the battle on the Donager quite a bit because that's where we get a really good look at these sort of standard Martian Marine Corps infantry in action. And if you'd like to learn more about that battle in general, I'll leave a link up here to my video on that. And I want you to let me know down in the comments whether you think the UN actually did have an equivalent to the Martian Force Recon Marines and we just never saw it, or do you think Earth never really saw a purpose in having that kind of unit in their Marine Corps? And if you have anything else you'd like to see me cover in The Expanse, leave it down below in the comments. Last but not least, if you enjoyed this video, head down below, hit the like button, the subscribe button, and the bell icon so you get notified when I upload new videos. So for Sci-Fi Deep Dive, I'm Colin, and I will see you next time. <laughs>